Hello friends, I am Dr. Nagaraj from Regional Institute of Education, Mysore. Today, we shall learn the technique of windowing on hen's egg for developmental studies. First, we shall see what is windowing an egg. It is a technique of cutting a piece of eggshell to make a reclosable opening that is window to observe and manipulate the living embryo. Chick egg is a good experimental model and easily accessible. Next, why to window an egg? Because it is necessary to study successive developmental stages of embryo, map cell fates using dye labeling, do molecular manipulations like placement of protein coated beads and introduction of plasmid DNA, genome editing, grafting, etc. Why? There are several methods for opening hen's eggs. Here, cover glass window method is demonstrated. Next, we shall recall briefly about the anatomy of hen's egg. The outer layer is the shell, which is gives protection to the embryo. Next, the inner cell membrane which has air space for respiration of the embryo. Next, the albumin, it has three layers, outer thin layer and inner thin layer and middle thick layer of albumin. It is a storehouse of water and protects the embryo from mechanical and chemical injury. Next, there is a vitellin membrane. Inside, there is a yolk. It has two components, the white yolk and yellow yolk. Then, at the center, there is a white yolk. It is called latibra. It moves up and then spreads. This is called nucleus of pander. On top of that, there is a blasto disc or germinal disc is there that will develop as a embryo. On the side, there is a membrane or tube-like called chanasa, which keeps the embryo always on top. Next, we shall glance through the developmental stages of embryo during incubation. On first day, at 16 hour, the first sign of resemblance of a chick embryo. Second day, 25 hours, beginning of heart. Third day, 60 hours, beginning of nose. Fourth day, beginning of tongue. Tenth day, beginning of hardening of beak. Seventeenth day, beak turns towards air cell and on 21st day hatching of chick. Next, we shall list the materials required. We need fertilized egg, cover glass, embryo cup, spirit lamp, paraffin wax, pencil, scale, dissection set, match box, blade, hand lens, cotton and egg incubator. Now, we shall begin the technique. Collect an egg and clean it with wet cotton. By doing candling, confirm the presence of developing embryo. What is candling? Candling is a method to study the growth and development of an embryo inside an egg using a bright light source behind the egg. Keep the egg on cell phone torch light in a dark place like inside of Almira and confirm. You can see here, this is the developing embryo. Keep a cotton cushion on an embryo cup and 
Place the egg on it. Place a cover glass at the center of the egg and mark its border using pencil. Mark another inner square with 3 mm less than the first one. This 3 mm gap is to build the wax wall or platform to mount the cover glass. Take a blade and make the edge rough or saw like by hitting with a spatula so that the blade cuts the egg cell easily. Now cut the egg shell along the inner square by gently sawing with the blade. Using a pointed forceps or needle, remove the cut piece of the cell in such a way that the cell membrane remains intact. This membrane prevents the falling of wax on the embryo. However, it got cut here. This is the embryo of 48 hours old. Take a piece of wax on a spatula and melt it with spirit lamp. Build the wall or platform of wax of 3 to 5 mm height around the opening. Level the top of the wall and remove the cell membrane using forceps. Here cell membrane got cut. Place a cover glass and completely seal the borders with wax. Clean off the extra wax on the egg. Write the date. and keep it in preset incubator. Observe the embryo development two or three times daily till it hatches. Record and discuss your observation. This is the time to summarize our learning. This is the time to evaluate our learning. I hope you would have understood the technique and enjoyed learning. Thank you. If you like, please share 
and subscribe